Hello friends, now I want to define a periodic function. A function f of t is said to be periodic. with period omega if f of t plus omega or uh, n into omega is equal to f of t so n being any integer right or we can define a function is periodic if its values repeat at regular intervals or graphically this means that if the graph of f of t is shifted horizontally by omega units the new graph is identical to the original graph so it means f of t plus n omega is equal to f of t is called a periodic function with the period omega so when we draw the graph of this function this graph will move horizontally left hand side right hand side left hand side right hand side it means it will shift omega units to the left hand side and right hand side and uh, new graph is similar to the original graph so that is the uh, meaning of a periodic function now you can view one example for a periodic function say for example sketch the graph of the periodic function it is defined by f of t is equal to t minus n where n is less than or equal to t is strictly less than n plus 1 with the period one right say for example here n is an integer so i will write the given function as it is f of t is equal to t minus 1 now i will take n is equal to 0 so what is the given function f of t is equal to t right so in the interval what is the interval in this interval i am going to replace n by 0 so 0 plus 1 means 1 so it means f of t is equal to t in this interval so it means when we draw the graph of this function this is the t axis and f of t you will get a graph like this so this is f of t 0 1 1 right ok now I want to replace n by 1 put n is equal to 1 so given function becomes t minus 1 right so 1 is less than or equal to t is less than strictly less than 1 plus 1 means 2 right 
so now again this graph will shift right so from 0 to 1 when we draw the graph I hope you will get a graph like this t axis f of t so this is 0 and this is 1 2 so 1 2 right so this graph will shift from 0 to 1 it starts from 1 right so this is our new f of t and it is similar to or identical to a previous graph when we replace n by 1 you will get this function and you will get a graph in the interval 1 and 2 right okay now I am going to replace n by 2 so what is f of t f of t is equal to t minus 2 right so replace n by 2 2 is less than or equal to t is less, strictly less than 2 plus 1 3 right so it means this function lies between 2 and 3 and when you draw the graph I hope you may obtain a graph like this t axis 0 so this is 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 right so our graph starts from 2 it means it will shift from 1 to 2 I hope this is our new f of t and it is identical to the previous function right and it lies between 2 and 3 and what is the period period is 1 here also period is 1 here also period is a 1 right so now exactly in the similar way you can replace n by some more values say for example put n is equal to 3 so what is the given function t minus n t minus 3 and n is less than or equal to 3 so it means 3 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than n plus 1 3 plus 1 so it means our function new function lies between in this uh, I interval so when you draw the graph I hope you may get a graph like this t axis and f of t so 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so my graph will shift from 2 to 3 it starts from 3 and it is less than 4 right so corresponding to so this is 1 right so this is my new function right so you may ask why can't we replace so n is an integer why can't we replace n by some negative numbers right okay now I can replace n by minus 1 so what is the function f of t is equal to t minus n so I may obtain f of t is equal to so t minus so n is minus 1 minus of minus 1 it means you will get t plus 1 right so where n is less than or equal to t what is n minus 1 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than n plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 so it means minus 1 and 0 so new function lies between minus 1 and 0 so when you draw the graph I hope you may obtain a graph like this so f of t is equal to this is 0 and 1 so this is minus 1 minus 2 is it clear? so starts from minus 1 right so up to 0 so I hope we will get a graph like this when you replace n by minus 1 right and similarly suppose if you replace n by minus 2 so what is the function f of t is equal to t plus n I hope you may obtain t plus 2 
right so n is less than or equal to t it means minus 2 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than n plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 i hope you may get a minus 2 plus 1 means minus 1 so it means my new graph will lies between minus 2 and plus 1 so it will shift from minus 1 to minus 2 is it clear all right i hope you may get a graph like this right so this is f of t is equal to t plus 2 right and this one is a t plus 1 so like that it will shift from minus 1 to minus 2 similarly if you replace n by minus 3 f of t is equal to you can obtain t plus 3 right so minus 3 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than minus 2 right so i hope you may obtain a graph like this 0 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so it means it will shift from minus 2 to minus 3 so you can obtain a curve like this so this is f of t and this axis is t axis and so on or you can combine all these graphs is it clear so when you combine the graphs i hope we may obtain a graph like this f of t and this is t axis so one sorry this is one two three four five minus one minus two minus three so initially I hope you may get a graph like this corresponding to 1 then it will shift from 0 to 1 then you may get a graph like this again it will shift from 1 to 2 right you may get a ramp like this then it will shift from 2 to 3 so 3 to 4 4 to 5 or it will shift from this side so 0 to minus 1 right so minus 1 to minus 2 minus 2 to minus 3 when you combine all those values i hope you may get a curve like this and all the functions or all the graphs are similar to the original graph so like that it will shift from either side of the origin either it may shift from this side or from this side with the period 1 so period is fixed is it clear? with the period 1 so that is the uh, meaning of the periodic function thank you